Welcome to Agama Project of the Week. I'm your host, Mike Schwartz, founder of Glue, and this week we're presenting the Glue's Agama Password Project. Let's start by logging into Agama Lab from the Agama landing page. I'll use my GitHub to sign in. And the Agama password project is published in the Explore catalog. The project is governed by Glue in the Glue Federation repository, and it's Apache 2 license. And the idea with this project is to cover password authentication, password expiration, account lockout, etc. other things, interesting password. So let's go ahead and fork the project. This will create a copy of the project in my personal repository. I'm NYNY Mike, so here it is. And now let's open it in Agama Lab. So the first time I try and edit this, this repository, I haven't granted the Agama Lab GitHub app permission yet, so it's going to complain about that. And that's okay. What I like about this is that we have the link right here to fix it. So now I'll go into the Agama Lab GitHub app and configure this repository for permission. So I will select Agama password there it is. OK. Now if I go back, and select this repository, it should come up. Okie dokie. Let's look at it in the Agama Lab developer environment. So as you might remember, Agama projects have a code folder. This is where all the Agama code itself goes. There's a lib folder, which is where all of your Java classes and Groovy classes go. And there's a web folder. And this is where your Apache free marker templates, CSS, JavaScript images, etc. go. Let's take a look at the flow. This is a pretty simple flow. It is password authentication. As you might remember, the first block in an Agama flow, it tells you the qualified name. So this is the qualified name of the flow. Note, we're also prefixing this org.glue because this project is governed in the glue repo. So it should be prefix org.glue. I'll, I'll leave you to explore this yourself. You know, in these two, um, blocks, we assign basically where the results are going to go and we initialize our authentication service. Um, as you might expect in a password flow, we try n number of times. So in this case, in this validation loop, we try and authenticate the person three times. If that fails, we return with an error message. And then inside this validation loop, we present a form, we log what happens, we call the validation interface method. Um, and um, so the, the result will be stored in validation result.status. And then in the when block, we're basically going to say when validation result, result status is true. So when that happens, we'll log success and then finish with a successful flow. And then if the password isn't right, We'll log that too, and then we'll assign a variable just in case we want to reference this later. We'll have that context. Um, so that, that's what the flow looks like um, in Orchestrator. I, I wanted to quickly show actually the, um, the password service code um, because that call is calling a, a method, and we've defined an interface. and so I'll show you the implementation. So the interface defines the methods. You know, here we have a validate method. 
for validating the password. So that, that's the interface. And in the Janssen implementation, we're going to, um, you know, we actually are using the built-in authentication service that, that we have here to, to validate the credentials. So there's an authentication service. But obviously, if you have an implementation for a different IDP, um, you would change this class and do whatever you need to do in your IDP. Um, and finally, let's just um, show that we actually did something here. Um, so let's take a look at the form. I have a much better logo than this. So let's, let's just change this logo. And now this form's looking way better. And I will save the form, save the template. I have to save my work. Just something interesting to show here is that, so when you save in Agama Lab, what it's actually doing is saving it to a branch in your in your repository so it created this agama lab branch and that and that's where my changes are going to go uh, agama lab itself doesn't store any files it just reads files fr from from github so this project is looking fantastic let's actually download it and test it so what i'm going to do is download a um, i have a local jansen auth server set up on susa on a VM on my Linux um, laptop right next to me. So I'm just going to try this locally. So let me download this gamma file. And then I'm going to have to SCP it to my server. Um, so here's the file. I'm going to SCP it. OK, now it's SCP'd. Um, now I'll, I'll run the TUI. Um, so Janssen auth server, um, I'm using the open source. So I'm going to use the TUI or text interface um, to configure it. So I'll go into the Agama section and I'll upload a project. And this is in my home directory. So let me just grab it. OK. So now this is deploying. Um, while it's deploying, let's actually um, start setting up our test. So I'm going to use Jan's tarp, which is a a Chrome extension that we've written as a test RP. Um, put in the host name uh, um, of my test server and set the client expiration. How about next week? And hit register. Okay, so I have a client that will expire in seven days. Now, when we invoke a gamma, we're always going to send ACR values a gamma to Jansen auth server. And then one more thing you have to do here is we need to tell um, the IDP which which Agama flow we're going to invoke. So uh, the way we do that is by sending an extra parameter, Agama underscore flow. And um, I can't remember the name of the flow, so I'm going to actually go back here and just copy this. Go to tarp, paste it in. Okay, this looks good. Let's let's try. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's display the access token. Why not? And trigger the flow. Oh, that looks fabulous. Oops. See if I can remember my password. Of course. And looks like it worked. There's my access token, my ID token. So this is a very simple test RP. So looks like it worked. I think that pretty much concludes um, our first Agama Project of the Week episode. Um, so hope you can take some time to try it out. This is a good project. You know, if you want to get dip, dip your toe in the water and try Agama out, this is a good project to start with. And we're going to try and publish 50 of these Agama Projects of the Weeks this year in 2024. So thank you for tuning into the first one and hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.